Good morning, and I do hope that you're all with me today for the final day of the Great International Craft Show. This is Gix 11. Um, I do hope you have been having fun with all the classes in the classroom and that you have been shopping with all the exhibitors. Now I've been pretty busy with live videos, um, educational videos, showing you how to use rulers with machine quilting, how to use them for designing, as well as watching me stitch on my long arm machine with those rulers. Um, I uh, This is our final day. I'm Tracy from Constantine Quilts here in rural South Australia. It's a gorgeous day again. We had all our grand finals yesterday for our football and netball, and uh, it's but it was a great day for for sport here on the peninsula in South Australia. Rural sport is alive and well. Just going to quickly go through our specials uh, for the shows. This is our final day, and uh, just wanting to remind you that I have ten percent on quite a few of my upgraded Aussie made rulers. First one is the all-in-one starter ruler that comes in both high and low shank sizes to suit all ruler feet. And this one has a concave and convex curve that will stitch out exactly the same without having to uh, flip the ruler too much. You just have to rotate it slightly to get both of those curves to stitch on either side of a seam. You've got a handy little um, smaller curve over on this side and this funny bit over here will actually help you stitch out a one inch diameter S curve so if you double back on it, on it you'll end up with one inch pearls and there's guidelines to keep you at all keep it all um, straight along a, on, along a previous line marked line so you can get a chain of pearls of course you've got a straight edge with your quarter inch half inch markings to help you edit with any grid work or straight line work and this side here is at a 60 degree to the straight edge so that you can come up with some hanging diamond designs or some alternative uh, grid type designs using the 60 inch uh, 60 degree line Okay, the next one is the two and four inch cam clamshell has been upgraded. So that means that when you stitch, this will give you one, two, three, four half circles that measure two inches in diameter. And you've got two half circles that measure four inches in diameter with guidelines to help keep you straight and to come up with other designs using half circles and of course we also have the one and three inch camp clamshell both of these clamshell rulers are available in low and high shank ruler feet so uh, that makes things pretty handy for domestic machines as well we, uh, we have the curved cross hatch and perfect circles I love using this ruler for curved cross hatching in and it will go over a lot of shapes a lot of size piecing in your blocks. Uh, it's based on approximately a 12 inch circle curve and guidelines to keep you going in the direction that you need it to go. The added bonus of the perfect small circles which will stitch out at the marked size so one and a half inch down to quarter inch um, will allow you to do again perfect tiny circles. The 90 degree ruler only comes in 6mm thick, so high shank or long arm rulers, uh, long arm machines. And this is such a handy size, it fits in the palm of your hand really easily. It's great to do lots of line work, um, repetitive uh, um, work, similar to Judy Madsen um, modern style quilting where we're always echoing inside blocks and uh, coming up with some great designs that way but it is such a handy one keeping everything at 90 degrees and um, it's really great to use on the inside as I said of, of blocks when you're wanting to echo that shape. Now the swirls ruler also only comes in at six millimeter thick suitable for long arm machines and high shank ruler feet um, at this time unless there is a demand 
for me to cut this in the thinner. This is 12 inches long. Um, there is has been a video playing throughout this event where I use this to show you three different designs um, on my long arm machine and I was physically stitching out some designs. But that's got two different depth S curves and the length of that S curve is 12 inches. It also has your, your centering line, um, your cross line to help use it for rotating designs as well. All of these are 10% and will be applied at the checkout automatically. Now for the first time, I've got all the Natalia Bonner range of rulers. She has five rulers now, and the inside out ruler with the concave curves um, is actually the companion ruler to her four, original four-in-one ruler, which has been uh, so popular worldwide for many years. So the curves on this ruler are actually the same, will stitch out the same as the curves on the larger inside out ruler. And then not too long ago, she introduced the mini version. So you have the mini inside out ruler and you have the mini four in one ruler. And again, they are companion rulers to each other with the same curves being stitched in the convex and concave um, manner. So, plus the last one she has is a trailer ruler. This is quite a bit larger ruler. It's quite long um, and gives you those beautiful straight lines. You can stitch in the ditch. You can do um, piano keys. You can do lots of echoing with this one. Plus you have the curved corner, the pocket corner on one side, which will help you as well. Now, all my wide fabrics are 20% discount. This is the time to uh, stock up on some backings. And um, th there were, there's quite a few in stock. Now, I did mention the other day about one that I've recently got in, and I forgot I didn't even have it on the website, so that's not a lot of good to you. But I quickly put it on this morning, and this is the one. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll just move myself out of the way so you can see. Put up here. And it's called Rose Tile, so uh, it sh should be on the website, I hope. Um, I hit the publish button um, a few minutes ago. But it's, uh, it's called a grey, but in real life it's really got a sage greeny tinge to it. And it's so pretty for any vintage style quilts. And I thought that was absolutely gorgeous when I got that one in so I did want to show you that one uh, in particular because it's brand new and uh, so there, there's plenty on the bolt if anybody wants that and of course it's 20% off because it's included with all the wide fabrics so I just wanted to point that one out to you and last of all of course I am providing free shipping on all orders over $75 and any orders over $75 for international uh, customers, I'll refund up to $15 on the shipping costs as well. So that is a, a great time to be stocking up on your wide fabrics. Um, another one, uh, just as a hint, I do have fresh in stock only on Friday it arrived is more of the extra large stripology rulers now they're a hundred twenty dollars so straight up but they're heavy and they're large so you can save another seventeen eighteen dollars on what would normally be the postage on those rulers so uh, just a, a heads up if you're even thinking about that extra large stripology ruler today's the day to put that order in and save on your free shipping um, save your shipping on that particular ruler and I have got in two of the companion mixology books which gives you so many designs on how you can use pre-cuts and the stripology rulers to make gorgeous quilts so welcome again to the final day of the great international craft show I do hope you can join me we have more educational videos today some are repeat some are new um, but it's, it is the final day and we can get quite busy. The classroom is open. It's free, sponsored by Making It Australia Channel 10. 
So get in there and check out what is happening today. Uh, I haven't had any new classes this time round, but there is an old class in there on how to design and stitch a Christmas quilting design um, in a border, which is great. And uh, actually, I think there's two designs on there, two Christmas quilting designs that I have demonstrated in a previous class here on Geeks. So have a fantastic day. I hope you've been enjoying the show so far and it'll all be over by the end of today. So don't miss out and I'll talk to you again later.